In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool freeze frame paper rip collage transition in Final Cut Pro 10. In order to create this really cool transition, you're gonna need these really cool like digital paper assets. Now, all the digital paper assets that I'm using in this video are from Brian Delmata. The link is down in the description below. Now, specifically, I'm using Brian Delmata's Paper Rips and Fold V2 pack. So if you wanna have the exact effects that I'm using in this video, definitely go ahead and download that pack. But he's a whole bunch of other really cool paper, you know, digital paper assets packs. So again, the link is down in the description below if you wanna go ahead and purchase any of these really cool digital paper assets. So as you can see, this is the example that I'll be going over in this video. So you can use these really cool like digital paper assets to create these really cool transitions. Obviously, the one that you saw in the intro. So we'll go ahead and just break down the basic idea of how to create a transition very similar to the one that you saw in the intro. So as you can see, here are the two clips. You just have two clips right here. And then I'll go ahead and just import a couple photos to create this really cool transition. So once you have the paper pack downloaded, all you wanna do is click on Command I and you just wanna locate where you have it saved. For example, I have it saved, uh, saved in my Samsung T7. Just gonna locate where you have it saved in your desktop or your download or your hard drive and just go ahead and locate where you have it saved. So you can see Brian Delmata rips and folds a V2, so this folder would be closed. You can just simply open up the folder, and then you can go ahead and select the different paper assets you want. And if you want to select multiple of them, hold down Command to select as many as you want, or if you want to select a whole bunch of them, click on the top one and hold down the Shift key to select as many as you want. But all you simply do is scroll down and find one, um, Black Rip 32, select on it. All you want to simply do is click on Import Selected, and now that's going to import, as so you can see, Black Rip um, 32, and then you can see you can just drag it on top of your timeline. So it's just simply importing them like you would normally uh, normal overlays. Don't put it in your presets folder or your plugins folder. Just simply, you're just simply overlays. You're just going to import them like you would any normal video clip or any normal photos. These are overlays, not plugins. In order to create this really cool transition, you're going to need some photos or some still frames. So you can see I have a, a whole bunch of different photos. All I did was I went to the actual like music video, the little baby music video, and just took a bunch of screenshots from the actual video. Now I would encourage you to actually use actual photos, but you can of of course just take still images um, from your videos all you could do is go over here to example or head over to your video clip hover over what uh, the the frame you want go over here to the export section and then just click on save current frame and then you can make it like a PNG or a JPEG so you can either take screenshots from your videos or you can just use normal photos but you're gonna have to have some sort of still frames in order to create this really cool transition so let's go ahead and just break down how I created this transition the very simple like basics of how to do this obviously you can make this way more advanced if you want so let's go ahead and select on clip number one what you want to do is go in the cut in between clip one take the arrow key and just go back one frame so anytime you're going any kind of like anytime you're going like by frames just simply do the right and left arrow keys to go back a frame or go forward a frame and then go ahead and select on the last frame of the first clip click on option F all that did was just create a freeze frame so if we play the video as you can see the last frame just simply freezes right there let's go ahead and select on the freeze frame click on um, option command up arrow just to lift it above the timeline and we can go ahead and just decrease the duration something like maybe like two seconds this of course is up to you we'll just decrease it to two seconds of course you can make it you know you can have this transition go up for like four or five seconds or you know 20 frames it's completely up to you but in this case we'll go something like two seconds and of course you can change that later on so what we're going to do is gonna go ahead and just select the paper rip that we want let's say um, black rip 16 place the paper rip on top of the freeze frame the still image and then just take the option um, uh, right bracket to trim it as you can see, you have this really cool paper um, overlay. Just simply let's just adjust the rotation of it and let's increase the scale to something like this. Now you want to select the paper up overlay, go to blend mode, change the blend mode to stencil alpha. You are then going to duplicate the paper rip overlay. So simply hold down the option key and drag up, select on the top one, go to the blend mode and change it to screen. Now you'll be able to see the black one is going to be black. You won't be able to see anything behind it. So simply select on both of the paper up overlays and the photo option G and we'll just type in one. You want to create a compound clip or group them all together. That way you can see the video or the photo behind the paper rip overlay. Now we'll go ahead and let's just take another photo and let's just place it right below the compound clip. So we're just gonna place a ripple of the compound clip and we're just simply going to trim it. Now we wanna add a little bit of paper texture, so let's go ahead, and again, this is up to you, we'll select, let's say, black rip 12, and then just place it right above the photo and right below the compound clip, and let's just go ahead and trim it. 
let's select on the paper up itself and then just increase the scale to obviously as big as you want and then you want to change the blend mode to screen and there you go now you have this really nice paper texture behind it so the last frame freezes this really cool paper overlay and then you have this really cool like paper texture photo behind it so we go ahead and play the video as you can see there we go the transition already is looking a lot better now you can also head over here to this little icon you go ahead and just decrease the timeline just so it's smaller so it's easier to see everything then we're going to go to the beginning and let's go forward at seven frames you can go forward five to seven i would recommend now let's go ahead and let's find another photo let's use this photo and let's just place it above um everything else let's go ahead and just simply trim it now we're gonna go ahead and select a different paper rip. So let's do again the black rip 32. Let's place it on top of the actual clip itself. Let's go ahead and trim it. Now in order to make the photo fit inside the paper rip, let's go ahead and decrease the scale. Select on the paper rip again, blend mode change to stencil alpha. Um, click on the paper, hold down the option key and drag it with your mouse. Select on the top one and change that top one to a screen. So the top one is set to screen. This one is set to stencil alpha and then you have the photo then you want to do again you want to select all three of these the two paper ribs and the photo click on as you can see the background's black option G and we'll just type in two and because we grouped them together now we can actually see what's behind the photo so if you can't see what's you know, can't see the video or the photo behind it simply you want to just create a compound clip now let's go ahead and just go to the beginning of the um, the actual paper rip. we're gonna go forward one two three four five six seven frames and we're going to blade the clip this is how you create that really cool like stop motion effect so select on this one the first one that's only seven frames and we're going to increase the scale something really high to like 150 so basically it's going to start at 150 for seven frames and then zoom back out to the normal 100% scale so if we go ahead and play the video as you can see the freeze frame as you can see see like it like pops up and then see like pops up right there so you see if we play it, it comes in pops up for seven frames and then goes back to 100% scale so that's how you create those really cool like stop motion effects where the photo is like moving or, or scaling and zooming out you want to just simply blade the clips and then adjust the scale and position of the different um, clips. Now let's go to the second clip, the beginning of the second clip, and then just click on option F to create a freeze frame. Now so this is just basically freezing the first frame of the second clip. Now let's play, take out um, black rip 14, let's select on, just place it on top of the photo, we're going to select both of these, click on control D and we'll click on 7 and then click on return. All we did was we set the duration of this to um, 7 frames. So go ahead and select on the paper itself. Let's just adjust the rotation, adjust the scale, and then again select on here, stencil alpha, go ahead and just duplicate the paper rip, select on the top one and then change that one to a screen, and then go ahead and select all of these, option G and just type in three, or of course, you know, number however you want. Now we're gonna go forward to this one, we're gonna go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, place a marker, we're gonna go ahead and just take the paper rip right there, and then we're gonna select all of these and just trim it to the second clip. So there we go, there is the transition. If we wait for Final Cut to render, as you can see, it is just you recreate this really cool like paper rip transition. So let's go ahead and play the video. As you can see, now you have this really cool like paper rip transition, and that's literally the basics of the transition. They can take the different steps that I showed to make it even better, but that is the very bare basics of how to create the transition that you saw in the intro of the video. Anyways, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. Again, the link for the paper effects are gonna be down in the description below. And if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're also looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro 10 plugins, presets, and overlays, definitely go ahead and check out my digital store. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.